Hi, welcome to another week of Skate Tech with Mark. Uh, I got a boot here and it's missing its laces. And I've got these laces, obviously contrasting color just so you guys can see it a little bit easier. But the thing that always happens is that an elite skater will be like, ah, oh, cut a lace. And you know, we don't practice changing our laces very much. And sometimes people even forget, you know, they've had them for maybe six months, maybe even the life of the boot. And, and they just forget, how did I get the laces in there? They often come like that. So I thought it'd be a good time to do a little tutorial and to do some uh, lace tech. So first thing, you always gotta unlace your laces. I like to get started, I like to run the lace through, just make sure I get all the, the kinks out of it, see how I get a little knot. So I got my laces all done. Next thing is take the tongue, push it down inside. That's gonna give you that access to get to those holes on the inside and especially up front where you're gonna to have to reach in at the very beginning. So I'm gonna tip this up a little bit here so you guys can see a little better. Scoot in here. So the first bottom two holes go in from the outside. Now pretty much every brand has that same technique to start. Now sometimes there's brands that have a different technique. Uh, you can always check, always check with your manufacturers. But you get those first two holes going in and there. And then you get those little lace ends right there. I like to start, this is how I always get, you know, so you don't have to try to thread them through and then get it to the top and then realize you got too much on one side versus the other. The very important step is to grab both ends and to reach and to pull it all the way through from the very beginning. Now I just realized some of you guys don't have long hands like me, so let me pull that back out. Let me pull it back. So again, get both ends together at the very beginning like that hold them in one hand and if you don't have arms that can reach all the way you can pinch them Oop, pull to the, you can pinch them go to the second side and then pull to the second one and now I always like to give a nice little tug and now you know that your laces are pretty much equally long let's pull them down just make sure yep that's it there we go all right I like to focus on one thing at a time, so I'm gonna take this lace on this side, pull it over. I'm gonna take this other side and go there. Now, for historically in most brands, you go under, under at the beginning. Everything else kind of goes under and over. But the very first one is what sets most of them. So I go under, and I pull it through. See that? So the first set is right there. And then the ones underneath come under and under. Now I've come out through the top. This is where I like to try to pretend like I'm folding as I'm doing the lacing. See how that is? So I don't get all the twists and turns and laces aren't like this. So I will start right at the hole. I'll pinch and I'll raise my hand out all the way. See there was a little lip in there. All the way to the end. So that way, as long as I'm holding it, as long as I'm not twisting it in and out, I'm holding it, always holding it the same. And leave space for that first hole on the other straight lace. See that? And then skipping again a hole because that's what that'll be what this one is. Pulling it through. And I'm never flipping it over. There's a little bit of a twist there, but I'm never turning this. I'm just basically threading back and forth and trying to hold it. See how it came in nice and flush? Again. If you have these eyelet knots, they're a great one to use to give you that support so that you got support from all the laces, including here. If you're ever breaking in skates, you can see where it flexes right on top of that and the flex notch. It's, uh, you can not use it and then it'll flex a little more. All right, so I've got half of the skate done. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the beginning and see how I'm going to start by making sure it's nice and flat the way I want it with no twists in it. And again, the first ones are always under, under. See how it's underneath? So I'm gonna go under to the other side there. That's it. Pull it through, making sure not to twist or roll this hand. So now I've got the lace through. So very clearly, see how it's under, under. Now, and you can see how this one was the top one. So I'm always gonna, when I'm coming from this side to that side, always think of crossing over top. So in the same instance, as I go over here to this side, a little 
twist in it, but so this lace is on top, this lace is on top. So now I'm gonna keep my finger like that all the way through onto the boot. So now this one's on top, so this side's on top. So go through. A little bit of twist to fix that. So I'm trying to keep it straight. Going back now on the underside. Going back now I'm on top. A little bit of twist to figure that out. And sometimes they just get a little curly cue in there. Underneath. Over top. Underneath. Over top. And there are my laces. Now I'm going to pull out my tongue. Beautifully ready to go boot. You know? I'm going to open it up a little bit. stick my foot in got it all laced up one suggestion I've shown before on other channels and other platforms laces oftentimes are this nice beautiful threading and you can oftentimes pinch and you see where it's almost flat it's thinner here and it's thicker there if you pinch the wide part you can almost thread it in on itself see that you can take the sheath of the knitting and push it in on itself and then the tip disappears into the end. You see that? Now as hard as I pull on that, and actually this is the best way to do it, as hard as I pull on it, it'll stick and it's it's like better than a knot because in a heartbeat if I need to change laces and rather than trying to unknot it a thousand times, I can just pull it back out of its sheath. So I'll put it in and then it less less likely to just pop through. See that? That's one of those tricks, but that's the way we tie our skates or put our laces in. So, all right, that's this week. See you guys again next week. Bye.